Hi beautiful people, welcome back home. Everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. Yes, I know everything is still going on in the Ukraine, which is so, so sad. If you guys uh, would like to donate to help Ukraine, I will leave links of organizations that are still taking donations to help the people in Ukraine down in my description box. It is just so sad watching every day what these poor people are going through. It's so, so sad. And I'm a person of faith. I believe in prayer, you know. For those people that are atheist, heathens, do not believe, do not have faith, I respect you. I truly do respect you. But can you give the same respect back? Because this is not the time. It's really not the time. And I'm not even going to give you my time. Let's put it that way. Oh, let's get this whole situation out of the way first. Yes, I'm in my daughter's room. It's so hectic out there. I can't even film where I usually film in the study. And it just was the quietest place. I'm not a type of person that can just sit back and see somebody take advantage of people when they are in their most vulnerable state. I, I'm not that person. Do it to me all day long, all day long. But when you got a family that's trying to get back their child or trying to rescue their child. No, no, KJ. Mm -mm. And let me just make this clear. I know we're all adults. I'm not telling you or anybody who to watch, who not to watch, who to trust, who not to trust. I'm just putting it out there so people can do their due diligence and know exactly the type of person without a crystal ball, aka Katie Joy is. But before we get into that, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Also, I put as many receipts in my videos as possible. I'm just going to give you who Katie Joy really is, in my opinion. Like I said, Katie Joy actually came up with this whole thing that this whole story just fell on her lap. Over the weekend, a new story fell into my lap. And I think it's something that you guys are going to love. And then I'm going to ask that when I upload a video on this topic, that you give it a chance and you give it a watch because I do think that if you have been interested and intrigued with the content that we've done around numerous churches that take advantage of people, uh, this one will be right up your alley. And it actually involves some dancers that are viral right now on TikTok and Instagram. This group is being uh, called out for being connected to this really tightly controlled church that's kind of controlling everything. So the group is 7M Films and they are the people that make those dances from throwbacks like the 70s and 80s stuff where you see them doing the disco dancing. What is she moving with that? The story just fell on her lap. But anyway, she's talking about a group called 7M. They're a group of dancers that do all these different um, crump moves. And there's this girl called Miranda Wilkins, who her family feels that she is being manipulated, held against her will, um, brainwashed. And unfortunately, she's an adult. So probably there's nothing law enforcement can do. But Miranda herself did put out a statement and this is the statement she made and you can pause to read it because I don't want this video to get too long. Katie Joy has actually said that she actually is in contact with the family and they've told her so much that they know where Miranda lives and at the end of the day you guys I feel this is a family issue. It truly is a family issue but then Katie Joy has to just always embellish everything. Of course, you know, Katie Joy is infamous for digging into people's lives. According to Katie Joy, these adults, these young adults are in a cult. They've been human trafficked. They are being used and a whole lot of other bullshit, okay? There were so many red flags for me listening to Katie Joy these past few days. Because as we all know, Katie Joy always changes her story somewhere along the line. I was actually went on um, Instagram of Melanie Wilkins, who is Miranda's sister. She actually was promoting 
Katie Joy's Instagram live that she did. You guys, I shit you not. That girl, I think, had to take that down because it's no longer on her Instagram stories. It's no longer there. It's not on Instagram at all. I don't see the video of Katie Joy because so many people were warning them about Katie Joy. So for those that are new to Katie Joy, that are blowing up her Instagram and that are, are following her to find out what's next, this there definitely may be a something going on there between these dancers, these people, tie-dyes, and, and all these people. It's amazing. There's so much going on. Do your due diligence first on who you can trust. And in my opinion, Katie Joy is not somebody you can trust. Because Katie Joy, which she even admitted in her Instagram live today, she can't help you. She's just there to report the story. Can those in need of help if I'm reporting, I mean, I can maybe get you in touch with people. I don't know if I can help you. I don't know help, what kind of help. Um, she Joy says she is well schooled on cults. Katie Joy has only started, in my opinion and to my knowledge, started covering cults, what? Maybe two years ago? And that's the Duggars. She never knew about covering cults. She was writing for Patios and she was writing about something totally different. And then she befriended this woman called Suzanne Tickemeyer. And she also has a YouTube channel. And she says in one of her videos, Suzanne taught her about the ins and outs of the cults. The Duggars. Now, if you didn't know, before I actually started my YouTube, I was a writer for uh, Pathios, where I wrote a column on the Atheist Network. And I was surrounded by amazing writers who uh, covered a lot of the hypocrisy that exists in fundamental Christianity. And some of the favorite articles that I wrote, read and one of the favorite blogs I read was called No Longer Quivering, um, written by my good friend Suzanne, who is a talented um, writer who has spent more than 16 years in the churches that um, are quiverful and was well versed in the life of the Duggars as well as a key player in disseminating information about Josh and Anna in 2015, when No Longer Quivering is still one of my favorites. And I uh, had, it was with her um, blessing along with her, um, I don't know, I was motivated by seeing what she had done. And I wanted to, you know, be another sort of advocate against this sort of work, these sort of groups. So, she has given me a ton of backstory about this family, which has enabled me to deliver you good content. Maybe a year ago when Katie Joy was in a lawsuit, she turned on Suzanne. She actually turned on Miss Suzanne and she actually said Miss Suzanne is crazy. Why? Because Miss Suzanne was not giving KJ her way. And this is a pattern for KJ. KJ, when she first started her YouTube channel, she used to cover reality TV. She was friends with Janelle Eason, or she was, you know, had a communication with Janelle Eason. So once Janelle Eason wasn't giving her her way, and allegedly Janelle was in an abusive relationship. So when Janelle wasn't dancing according to her tune, what did she do to Janelle Eason? She leaked all her DMs. On her YouTube channel and I will link a video to all that of somebody that did a video about the Janelle Eason situation and then how did Katie Joy get popular how did she start gaining how did she get attraction Amber Portwood from Teen Mom she actually played a video she was given she wasn't given permission allegedly to put that video on her channel so an incident Amber Portwood had outside her house, which wasn't very pretty. Katie Joy actually leaked or put that on her YouTube channel and still had the audacity to brag 
about all the money she made. She started gaining thousands and thousands and thousands of YouTube subscribers because of that. There are so many videos. I'm going to name a few that you can actually go and educate yourself about KJ and the Duggars. WOACB versus WOACB. Basically puts Katie against herself. Awesome channel. All Things Sassy. All Things Sassy was a person that was there for KJ in the worst of times. And what did KJ do to her? Turned on her. You have EKC People Suck. You can go view that. There's Leslie, which KJ also was absolutely nasty to. Absolutely nasty. All those videos I will leave down in the description box for you to do your own due diligence. Oh, and can I not forget? She actually went off on another YouTuber called Preacher Boy. And she went on an Instagram live and actually accused this guy that was in the IFB. And because he did not contact her at the appropriate time she expected him to contact her, she went and put him on blast on Instagram live. She says that he is an abuser that he abuses his wife, his kids, and his sister. And on my platform that might have abused his wife or hurt his sister or participated in the abuse of women and children. And I said that to him because the men in this cult are dangerous. He doesn't even have a sister. Let's not even talk about what KJ has done to those duggers. We're not talking about the piece of shit, Josh. Absolutely not. She has demeaned, degraded. She doesn't know whether she wants to be on the right side or the wrong side. It just goes with the flow of her audience, in my opinion. She has no grace for them. She has absolutely nothing. Not so long ago, she actually had a sponsor, Native, that was sponsoring one of the Duggar girl's video, Jessa, well, she's a seawall now. She actually contacted Jessa Seawall's sponsor, Native, and had a sponsorship removed. She took food out of Jessa's kids' mouths. Do your due diligence, people, before you get all your hopes up, thinking that this person is there to help you. She must be even lying to you that she's a journalist, she's a reporter, she's, all, she, she's not any of that. She has a bachelor's degree in Spanish. She has had so many, so many interactions with people online, on YouTube. I can't even explain to you how I can. She did have one person that was her friend. She was actually the cousin of the Duggars, Amy Dugger King. She turned on her. She went and she pulled up all her tax records, how much she owes, who she owes it to, just because she couldn't get her own way, because she felt Amy was lying about her. How old are we now? We're all grown adults. We can just, if we know it's not the truth, just walk away. As easy as that. This person is not who you think she is. She has been sued so many times. The biggest lawsuit was happening last year when she was sued by another YouTuber called Tati Westbrook. She was working with the business partner of Tati and James Westbrook. Tati Westbrook is a YouTuber. So during this lawsuit, Katie Joy went and dug up every personal piece of information on Tati Westbrook, her husband, tried to dig into Tati's family's business. She even went as far and said that allegedly Tati's husband tried to take his mother or took his mother off life support for the inheritance. 
So she always said these people will never sue me. She bragged about how many cease and desist she received from them. She was all about herself. She was on top of the world until the shit hit the fan. She was sued. Everybody was covering it. Everybody was talking about it. Because at the end of the day, everything always comes back. And what I'm not going to sit here and do is allow Katie Joy to put on this facade that she cares, she understands, she feels for them, she has a child, she feels bad for all those kids that are not being seen by their dad. I don't fall for that bullshit. Because at the end of the day, Katie Joy does not have time for her own kid. And she wants to go after other people's kids. She wants to talk about how other people should be raising their kids, aka the Duggars. After everything was all said and done with the lawsuit, she settled with the Westbrooks. She did not win the case. She settled. She gave up her source. Okay? Bear that in mind, people. If you're not contacting Katie Joy and giving her information and, and thinking it's safe, it's not safe. Because when it's too hot in the kitchen, the first one out is Katie Joy. She will give you up in a split second. So if you feel, in my opinion, that your shit is safe with Katie Joy, no, it's not. Because she will give you up to save her own ass in a hot minute. Because that's exactly what she did with the lawsuit she was in with Tati and James Westbrook. She gave up her source. No journalist, no reporter gives up their source. Absolutely not. And what did she claim? She claimed that she was manipulated by him. Katie Joy. Katie Joy was manipulated, you guys. Wow. And then recently, okay, when everything was going on with this whole Josh Duggar case, Katie Joy, everybody's always wonder, but why is Katie Joy always saying these kids were abused? They being um, groomed and manipulated and don't quote me on what she said, but she's just like, they just, they don't, they can't think for themselves. So it's like a lot of us were like, why doesn't Katie Joy do anything? You got all these sources that are telling you about what's going on in the Duggar house. Why aren't you reporting them? So she shut that, that down very quick and fast. And her words were, I'm just there to report the story. And she even said that all these people that have been coming to her have been telling about the story that happened over 20 years ago. If you go and watch on my channel, she is such a hypocrite. This is not for the well-being of anybody else, but Katie Joy's bank account. Let's be clear. So for those that think they are safe, she's telling the story. That's as far as it goes. She's just telling the story. She's profiting. She's making money. Off your heartache. Off your pain. Off your family's pain. Going back to um, the lawsuit she was in with Tati Westbrook. She was going through some terrible stuff. That I would not deny. People were coming after her. Not, let's not say people. But this one specific person felt a certain kind of way against KJ. Which we can discuss at another time. KJ falsely, falsely accused so many people of doing what this one person did. And what did Katie Joy do? She falsely accused all her critics that she just didn't like. And in turn, what did she do to those critics of hers? She used the court to shut them up. She was bragging about the fact that this person, that person, that all these people are going to be sued. They're going to have a restraining orders. They're going to... So many things were going on with these people. Now that everything is said and done, we don't hear about all these, whatever she was doing to these people. I can tell you that she has hurt so many people because of her own stupidity.
She has put so many people through so much. And because she couldn't take the criticism from these people, she tried to silence them with NDAs. And most importantly, Katie Joy is just putting on a facade for everybody that she cares about these kids. No, she doesn't. Let's be clear one more time. She cares about the clicks, the views, the followers, and that equates to dollars for Katie Joy. Period. Katie Joy, in my opinion, can't even take care of her own child. Has no time for her own son. And this is why I say that. And I will put clips of everything that I give you an example of. She left her son locked in a room for 10 hours. 10 hours, you guys, with her husband. While she fucking sat downstairs on a high chair recliner. On a live, talking to people. Still has the audacity to leave that live on. And when the husband goes, comes downstairs for a drink, goes back upstairs and shouts at her son to go to sleep, she's still sitting on her live and telling everybody it's been a long day. Everybody's tired. And I'm going to leave all these clips at the end of my video. And you guys can go ahead and watch. She still tried to lie about it. First of all, she said her husband was locked in the room for 10 hours with their dog. Then she came and she says that, oh, he was just having a meltdown. Even if he was fucking having a meltdown, you go and you help your husband. That's what a mother would do. She left him with a headache for three days, three days. And while she was on the phone and she admitted to this, while she was on the phone trying to call his doctors, she was having a spat with someone on Twitter. She finally took him to the emergency room, to the hospital. There was a problem with his shunt. What was Katie Joy doing? Once again, having a back and forth with another YouTuber. Who does that? Which mother does that? This woman was being sued by Tati Westbrook. And obviously, anybody would feel this way. The pressure got to her. When she sat on a YouTube channel, she didn't cry about, oh, that, you know, whatever's happening, her son has been affected. No. The first thing she spoke about, why she was crying, why she was so heartbroken, is because of her channel, her YouTube channel. And then only afterwards came the fact that that money she's spending on lawyers supposed to have gone towards her son. Isn't your child supposed to go ahead of your YouTube channel? Maybe it's just me. She sat. She sat on a panel with two other women talking about Gypsy Rose and how Gypsy Rose's boyfriend did something wrong. So they asked her, did she think that her son could commit murder? And you know what she says? She says, yes, her son was capable of committing murder if he was manipulated. Wow. Wow. Katie Joyce and her husband seem to have made, I'm assuming that they made the pact that, but her doing YouTube will be more beneficial for them. You know, brings in more money. He can stay at home, be the stay at home dad. Nothing wrong with that. You got to manage your time. This woman was on an Instagram live talking about fucked up situations. And I'm talking about sexual abuse. That was more important than her son because she got up while she was on her Instagram live and she shut the door. So her son would stop the noise that her son was making while playing wouldn't affect her life. This woman, this woman sat on an Instagram live and cried, cried 
about an insurance company not wanting to pay for a son's medication. That's for you to have a conversation with your personal friends, your family. She actually sat there on her life talking about and actually dug up a pastor. Because let's face it, the way I say, Katie Joy hates faith. People are faith. She, in my opinion, she hates God. And we'll get there. So a pastor that actually spoke bad about kids with autism, she brought that up. Katie Joy, but you're sitting on the phone with an insurance company to do what's best for your child. That's your responsibility. It's got nothing to do with your Instagram followers. It's got nothing to do with your YouTube followers. It's got nothing to do with anybody else but you, your husband. Prioritize. You don't need that insurance company to pay for that medication your son needs. You can pay with you can pay that five thousand five hundred a month with a smile on your face for all the money you make and you have made of the Duggars alone. This woman wants to show people that she's such a good mother, you know, and always using her son as pity. She shot herself in the foot, not literally. She was on an Instagram live, was going to show people on how this medication is so vital for her son. She went in the kitchen cupboard, she reached up, Took the medication down. She looked at it. The medication was expired, you guys. In turn, take responsibility for it. You're such a shitty mother, in my opinion, that you can't even keep up with your fucking son's medication, but you can keep up with what the fuck the Duggars are doing. She went and she blamed the nurses. She blamed the nurses that come to her house on a daily basis that they did not sort things out. That's Katie Joy. She joked about selling her son on the black market. She joked about that. Katie Joy, because she felt she's calling the Duggar kids crotch fruits or crotch goblins. She made the statement, oh, my crotch fruit is downstairs. Wow. That's what she thinks about her son. And, and she feels that's a joke. As I said, I'm a person of faith. I have been through some shit. I was never always a person of faith, but things have happened in my life which no human being could have made happen. Some things, your faith is, that's how your faith is built. I'm not going to go recruit people, but I can sit and I can tell you my testimonies. I'm still human. I still swear like a sailor. I'm not a perfect person of faith, but you know what? I me, I am who I am. I'm not going to come and put on a facade for nobody. The way Katie Joy does. She made this video where she was complaining on how hard it is to be a mother of a child with disabilities. She's not the first and she definitely won't be the last. Why is she complaining? And then she says, whoever tells a God only gives you what you can handle. Fuck you. So that's the person that you people are worshipping. Taking every word as fact. Thinking she's a reporter. I've told you guys, there's two sides. There's two Katie Joys. The Instagram Katie Joy and the uh, YouTube Katie Joy. Do your due diligence. I'm going to leave a link to a video down below where one of her Facebook friends that she was in a group with Facebook actually came on somebody else's channel and explained how Katie Joy was always want, want, want. And allegedly that's how she managed to get the money or the down deposit for their house. But people donating to them, feeling bad for their kid. And to top everything off, this is the type of person Katie Joy is. You guys have to go watch all these clips at the end and see for yourself. She was going through the lawsuit and Katie Joy was feeling a certain kind of way about herself, feeling sorry for herself. And she says that she just could not know why she was feeling this way. 
until a friend of hers reached out to her that she was friends with on Facebook when her son was first born. <laughs> and this friend reminded her that that was the day her son nearly lose his life. And they called that day. Her son's still around. Thank God. He is absolutely adorable. That day, they call Survival Day. Which Katie Joy couldn't even remember herself. She had to be reminded of. So she decided to go on an Instagram Live. And she wanted, it was a pity party of one. So people were trying to relate to her. So there was one woman that told her story of how she lost her baby girl. KJ went ballistic on this woman. It's all about her. She's trying to tell a story. She just wants somebody to listen to her. Isn't that what you have a husband for? Isn't that what you have friends and family for? But unfortunately, as we just found out, nobody gets along with Katie Joy. None of her family gets along with her. She feels that her family, and this is the way I took it, she puts it across as her family does not deal with her because her family feels her son is an inconvenience. Now, she has stated to us that she has over 40 cousins. She has a brother, she has a mother, she has a father. She blamed her parents for all her bullshit and the type of person that she is, in my opinion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She accused her father of being an abusive dad, of abusing her, how she was afraid of him. All just for fucking sympathy. And last but not least, this is how KJ feels as a mother. Now, you guys, this is just a tip of the iceberg of how Katie Joy felt about her son. Okay, if you go back, I believe there's even things that are so much worse that somebody would put this on the internet astounds me. It truly astounds me. She says, initially, I grieved not having a healthy son. Who grieves not having a healthy child? Who? I've never, in my 47 years, I have never come across a person that has felt this way. And that is the truth. There is a light burning. The only trait I wanted in a child was, uh, was good health. When he came to the world full of illness, I grieved that dream very, very hard. However, when I lost my identity, I started grieving the life I lost. I realized I felt resentful towards my child. Wow. When I evaluated my emotions, I forced myself to admit I felt angry. My son could not control his health. However, I was angry his health disrupted our lives. Why? Why? I get being transparent. I truly get that. But that that was done a few years ago and her actions now, they actually mesh together. This is just a small fraction of what is on the internet in regard to Katie Joy as a parent. She just gives off that, that idea that she just does not like kids. And she even admitted the one time on one of her videos, it was in the way back, that she didn't even want kids. The only reason she had a kid was to please her husband. So I'm going to end it here, but what I promise you I am going to do because, like I said, I feel Katie Joy is taking advantage of these parents' hardship right now. Their sadness for their daughter. I am going to go through every Instagram live Katie Joy has done since she got put back on Instagram. And I'm going to call out all her bullshit with receipts. And I promise you I'm going to do that. I showed you earlier. Katie Joy said she's not there to help. She doesn't have resources. She's just there to report. So if you are a new person to Katie Joy, 
if you want to trust in Kylie Joy, please do your due diligence and research this person. I beg you. I'm not saying don't watch her, don't trust her. But first, do your due diligence, please. So, you guys, I'm going to get to all those Instagram lives. I'm going to have video after video after video because you know how Katie Joy is when she got her Instagram back. Oh, Lord. I don't think we're going to hear the end of Katie Joy now. So, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload. Please have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Please be kind to one another and make good memories. Bye, guys. Um, he My was son is autistic. So he, okay, would your, do you believe that your son could be, be manipulated into murdering somebody? Yes. You do? Yes. Why? And how, and where is your son at on the, le on, on the, on the spectrum? He's high functioning. He's high functioning. Why do you think that that could because happen? Because they're vulnerable. Is that, you're, you're actually the first one that we've talked to that has said that. Is he not asleep? Is he asleep? Come on. I have spent 10 hours in that room. you guys it's been a rough day for everyone everyone's tired he's not falling asleep everything will be fine <clears throat> he has insomnia yes but when he gets really emotional he has a hard time falling asleep and he's very emotional so I have to go because I need to take over for my husband. Um, he is at his wit's end. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And um, bye. Yeah, so... You guys is chatting about like it's really weird to me that you guys are sitting here chatting about things that are totally unrelated and i'm telling you something really serious and you guys are just like talking about things that are unrelated i actually think i'm gonna go it's weird to like be opening up and all i see is you guys sitting there talking about yourselves so You guys are being really rude. Like, it's weird. I, I, w I was like gonna turn chat off. Like, I, I honestly can't imagine like sitting here and having someone open up to you about the hardest day of their lives and you're sitting there talking to strangers and you're literally just like not even listening and you're just talking about yourself.
And now the chat is focusing on Susan and Debbie. It's watching people no longer watch and click on my videos when I'm working so hard. It's like watching like your dreams fall apart. <laughs> Knowing that the money that you're now spending on legal fees was supposed to be for your child. It's like, it's so overwhelming. <laughs> Hold on one second. You cannot have him screaming like that! Sorry guys, my son is just like losing. I don't even know where he is. All I can hear him is screaming and my husband doesn't seem to care. Here's the thing why I know they're never going to sue me. They're never going to sue me because the discovery for me would be terrible for them. If they were going to sue me, it would have already happened. And they sent me four cease and desists. And I stopped believing in God was because my child was so fucking sick and everyone kept telling me, well, God wouldn't give you more than you can handle and, and you, you're doing this because God knows that you can. And, and to those people, I want to tell you, fuck you. Because nobody I know would ever walk in this my life and tell anyone that you can handle this. No one can handle this. No one. And I will say that my son's illness and my son's um, developmental issues um, put me at my lowest point mentally, um, put me at my lowest point with my mental health. I just don't want you guys to think that Mother's Day for every mother is happy because it's like a dark day in my life. <laughs> I, I kind of get depressed on Mother's Day and I get depressed on his birthday. And um, because it's just kind of a reminder of his life is so fucked up. And like, what child wants to grow up and, and, and become an adult and look back on their lives and know that their mother thought that they were so hard that they put such a burden on their family and that because of their disability, mom's life sucked. It makes the children seem like they're difficult, like they're a burden, like they're an impossibility. And like, what child wants to grow up and, and, and become an adult and look back on their lives and know that their mother thought that they were so hard that they put such a burden on their family and that because of their disability, mom's life sucked. Think of what that would do to the child's self-esteem. Let's talk about what the Duggars are doing or the Duggars. It's Dugger or Duggar, I really don't care. Like these people are so silly to me. <laughs> I love judging the Duggars or the Duggars or whatever you want to call them and all their dumb crotch fruits. So many crotch loin fruits that I, I, it's hard to even keep up with them. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm missing one of the crotch fruits. I don't have anything to tell you about Josiah um, other than he's still gay. Child, being child free is like, God, I wanted to be child free to be honest. I'm a mom. I didn't want to be a mom. I am a mom. And I know that sounds horrible to say that, but I didn't want to get pregnant. I didn't want to have kids. I'm glad I have a child now. No, I seriously, I love my son, but I would sell him on the black market someday.